Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got an exciting sneak peek straight from the Unreligion team during their latest live stream. They unveiled eight brand new gameplay templates coming to Unreligion 5.6, and trust me, these are going to be complete game changers for developers and hobbyists alike. From high speed racing template to an intense first person shooter or strategic top down RTS template to even a spooky horror game template, there's just something in here for just about every kind of game that you'd want to create. And these templates are packed with built-in functionality, a solid foundation for you to build on for your next project. And in this video, we'll be breaking down each one and going over everything that we saw in the live stream and talk about what it means for the future of Unreal Engine projects. And yes, we can expect these to land sometime soon when Unreal Engine 5.6 officially drops, which I will actually reveal later on in the video. So make sure that you stick around to the very end. And before we get into it, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more Unreal Engine content. And so without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first gameplay template revealed is this new racing gameplay template. Currently, we do have a car template available in Unreal Engine 5.5. However, this new racing template is completely different because it comes with this racetrack and basic gameplay loop. So essentially, it's a racing game that has this timer on the top left of the screen, keeping track of how long it takes for you to complete the circuit. And it's even worth noting that it saves your best time and displays it against the current time. Also, they have these little physics cones that you can run into that are just physics interactable objects and in the live stream they mentioned that the templates now come with massive optimization improvements so in previous templates they came packaged with things like high quality textures and so they've gone in ahead and optimized the textures plus a bunch of other optimizations so the whole idea is the templates have gone over huge overhauls and have a much smaller footprint than they currently are also this vehicle template you can actually see that they have this road tool that deforms the landscape and they also have this landscape that has things like this mountain Mountain, and the road carves, you know, like this hole through the mountain. So you can basically see that they're adding even more learning resources and more different things to play around with that you can dissect. Just a more variety of different things that was previously included in the templates before. All right, before we dive into the next template, I want to take a quick moment to tell you about something that I've been working on that I'm super excited to share with you. If you've ever wanted to create your own multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5, I've got something just for you. I've put together a comprehensive step-by-step course that walks you through the entire process of building a multiplayer survival game from scratch. We're talking everything from setting up your project, creating gameplay mechanics, implementing multiplayer functionality, and even optimizing your game for performance. Whether you're a beginner or experienced developer, this course is designed to help you level up your skills and bring your game ideas to life. And the best part, you'll have access to all the project files so you can follow along and use them in your own projects. If this sounds like this is something you'd be interested in, check the link in the description to learn more and enroll in the course. Trust me, this is the perfect way to take your Unreal Engine 5 skills to the next level. And without further ado, let's get right into the next template. So the next template that was revealed is the 2.5D side-scrolling template. This is a brand new template for Unreal Engine 5, and it is worth mentioning that previously, back in Unreal Engine 4, they had a side-scrolling template, but they have not added it to Unreal Engine 5 until now. So what you're seeing here is this side-scrolling template. It has things like this environment interaction, like bounce pads, you can even jump through collision boxes, so like how to jump up to a platform above the character, and even comes with things like wall jumping mechanics. So this is all programmed using Blueprint, and even things like the custom camera manager that follows the character around. Along with this template, they included some physics interaction, so the character can push things like boxes, move them into place, and even some simple interactable pickups, like maybe if you want to add coins, and even comes with NPCs with AI. And one thing to note that they did mention that the AI built with these templates are using the new state tree system in Unreal Engine 5. Basically, they're pushing this as like the main system to create things like NPCs in Unreal Engine uh, using this state tree. And they've also got a couple of other things in this template like an interactive platform. But overall, that's pretty much it for the 2.5D side-scrolling template. The next template is this top-down template. This is sort of like a RTS top-down template. You have things like drag selection, unit control, so you can select different units, move them around on the game board. And you can zoom in and out. Basically, it's sort of like a simple RTS game like Age of Empires. So the controls look very similar. They have things like AI navigation, so the environment interaction 
interaction and physics interaction. Basically just another template showing you how to set all these things up if you're looking to create an RPG game or some sort of top-down strategy game. Another thing worth mentioning uh, is in the live stream they mentioned that this drag on the screen is also set up for touch input. So if you're looking to set this up for a mobile game like for your iPhone or iPad, the input is already set up for you. Then the next new template they showed is this new first-person shooter game template. They've added basically full body so you can look down and see your character's feet. And they designed this arena map that has a bunch of interactables, things like this little jump pad. You can launch your character in the air. You have like these doors that'll open and close. You have different weapon pickups like this rifle and even these little damage pads that deal damage to the player. And when the player dies, they actually respawn. Also, they have different types of weapons like the rifle and the pistol. And of course, they have the default first person rifle, which they called, you know, a grenade launcher in the live stream. But basically, this is like a new shooter game template that differs from the current first person shooter game template that we have. And the whole idea behind this is that they're trying not to make these templates super complicated. For example, they aren't trying to make it like Project Lyra, where they have all these different menus, sub menus, different gameplay attributes. The whole idea behind these updated templates is they're just trying to give you sort of a framework, a simple framework to start with and offer just a little bit more, but not over complicate things. Plus they've designed these templates in a way that you can easily swap out the meshes for your own. So for example, they showed this door template that can be sized up and the assets will be scaled properly, not distorted. They also added a bunch of different settings. So if you want to swap out and change things like the door frame, or if you want to toggle it on or off, just some more different adjustments. One really good improvement in the new templates in particular, this first person shooter template is that they are using soft object references, basically for things like the weapon pickups. So it fetches it from this data table, uh, things like the weapon mesh and the blueprint class and async loads it into memory. So it's just pretty neat to see Epic start implementing this in their gameplay templates. So it just shows you like, the best practices for using stuff like assets and how to async load this. By the way, this is actually something I show in my multiplayer survival game course. So if you want to learn more about, you know, async loading and soft object references, that's something that I fully cover. But the next template that was showcased was the new first person horror game template. So this one shows you how you can set up different light setups with dynamic lighting, how you can set up atmospherics, how you can optimize your lights in the scene so you don't have too many light overlaps. They didn't really mention whether or not it will come out with a bunch of you know gameplay mechanics like jump scares or stuff like that but this template really just seemed like it was just focusing on the environment setup like the lighting and just the basic first person character controller but the next template that was revealed was this new third person platformer template basically this is like a console platformer game it comes with completely rehauled controls for the third person character to feel like you're controlling an actual platformer character so things like camera lag uh, camera smoothing all that stuff but also this character comes with stuff like jump height. So depending on how long you hold down the jump button or the space bar, your character will either jump higher or lower depending on how long you hold down that jump button. Another feature that was added was double jump. So this is another very popular feature in any platformer game. And it even comes with things like dashing. So you can even double jump and dash at the same time. And to wrap it up, they also featured and showcased this wall jumping so you can scale back and forth and jump up the wall. Next up, they showcased another top-down template. This one is actually called the top-down action template so this is sort of like a top-down shooter game where you have these different ai spawning you can shoot at them and they explode into a bunch of pieces your character has things like dash ability and also has things like this little bomb ability so you can spawn it there's also the you know the chaos physics with the enemy ai exploding into different bits but basically this template also comes with some basic ui setup so it shows like the score how many combos you have and of course how many bombs you can use but it's just a another neat template that they included and just another top-down template and they mentioned a lot of the blueprint things that they use in these templates are actually the same across some of the other different templates like the first person shooter but the last template they showcase is this third person combat template basically this is like a over the shoulder combat game that includes this combat attack system so you can sort of charge back your punches and it comes with basic physics interaction so you can punch through these boxes then they showcase this little arena so you can fight this AI NPC. So this AI is set up through state trees again, and it also has things like damage and health. So you can see, you know, the health bar on the character. Plus there's a lot of stuff like hit reactions, physics 
ragdoll, particle effects, and much more. And you can see it also has stuff like these enemy spawners. So they'll just keep spawning in different enemies over and over. And of course, if you fall out of the arena, they have this damage system. So you can actually die and respawn in the level. So yeah, those are pretty much all of the new templates that are coming to Unreal Engine version 5.6. And it's important to note that everything you just saw in this video is most likely subject to change. What I mean by that is they will likely swap out things like the meshes, add more polish to things, and maybe even change certain things that we saw. But basically, we will see the completed final version of these templates when 5.6 is actually released, which brings me to the point of when can we actually expect to get our hands on these new templates? Well, my guess is that since Unreal Fest 2025 is going to be sometime during June this year, and that they're doing the big state of Unreal at Unreal Fest, that most likely means that they will be releasing Unreal Engine 5.6 at Unreal Fest, or most likely releasing it into early access. So likely around June, we can expect to get our hands on these new templates. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about these templates down in the comments down below. I think these are a huge upgrade in learning resources because of just the amount of things that it will show us how to set up plus things like the soft object references you know how you can actually structure your game and project in the way that epic structures it and does it and that's pretty much it so i'm excited to hear you guys' thoughts on this let me know down in the comments down below and that's pretty much it for this video so hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one